What's up guys, today I'm gonna be showing you what you need to do if your iPhone stop detecting the SIM card. So as you can see, this iPhone right now has no signal at the top, that means it's not reading the SIM. If that's the problem you are having right now with your iPhone, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be showing you right now how to get that fixed. Let's go. Step number one, let's go ahead and remove the SIM card from your iPhone. So you can use like a earrings or any or SIM card injection tool just by pressing on that little hole it will come out just like that this is the sim card that i have on this phone okay second just turn off your phone just like that and once your phone is completely off turn it back on okay so that's the first thing you have to do before changing anything on your iphone it's the easiest way to fix the issue also apple says that just restart your iphone remove the sim first and then Turn off your iPhone, turn it back on, and just put the SIM card back on your iPhone. That might fix the problem. Okay, once your iPhone is on, just put the SIM back in the phone. And let's wait a couple of seconds. Oh, yo, look, my iPhone is reading the SIM card now. Wow, it happened to my iPhone because I was updating the iOS system. And after that, just it was saying no service. You know what I mean? And you stop reading the sim that's why i decided to make a video but if your iphone is not detecting the sim you're gonna do this remove the sim card from your iphone one more time okay once you do that now you're gonna force restart your iphone apple also says that you have to force restart your iphone how to do that easy you're gonna press and quickly release volume up press and quickly release volume down Press and hold down the power button until your iPhone turn off. One more time. You're gonna press and quickly release volume up. Press and quickly release volume down. Press and hold down the power button until your iPhone turn off. Let's do it. Volume up, volume down, power button. Even if you see the action to turn off your phone, just keep holding down the power button, okay? Okay, now it's off. Okay, when you see the Apple logo on the screen, release the power button. So now let's wait until the iPhone turn on. Then just put the SIM card back in the iPhone. And let's see if the iPhone now is going to start reading the SIM card. Okay, the iPhone is on. Let's put the SIM card back in the iPhone. And now let's wait a couple of seconds to see if your iPhone is going to start detecting the SIM. This iPhone is already working. Okay, just wait like 5 to 10 seconds. And if you see your iPhone show 5g or any signal bar that means it's detecting the sim but if you still got the same problem i'm going to show you another thing that you can do to get a fix so, okay let's say this iphone is still not detecting the sim card so what i'm going to do remove the sim from your iphone one more time so just make sure guys before i show you what to do just make sure your SIM card, single condition, you can tell right away. If you see a lot of line on the top of it, that means maybe your SIM card is not good anymore. So you have to take your phone to the cell phone store, you know, to replace the SIM card. But if you see everything look normal, everything look good, so what you're going to do now, grab your iPhone and let me show you. Let's go ahead and click on settings. Scroll down, let's go ahead and click on general. Scroll the way down, let's go ahead and click on transfer or reset iPhone. Then let's go ahead and click on reset. And right here you have different actions. You have reset all settings, reset network settings. That's the one you have to click on, okay? Reset network settings. Apple also says to do that when you are having connection problem. Right now, if you still have problem on your phone, that means connection problem, you will have to do this, guys. That will reset the whole network settings, including Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth connection, data connection, signal, and everything. So before you do that, let me explain something to you. After you do that, you will have to reconnect your iPhone to your Wi-Fi network. So you need to put your password and all that because it's going to remove all the Bluetooth devices that you had connected to your iPhone, all the Wi-Fi network, everything. But unfortunately, you have to do that. So there's no another way to fix that issue. Just let's go ahead and click on Reset Network Setting. And right here, confirm, reset on that one. Your iPhone is going to turn off. You will see some process on your phone screen. Just let it finish. And after that, 
you will be good to go. After that, you just put the SIM card back in your iPhone. I hope this process fixes the issue on your iPhone. If it is not, your iPhone might have some internal problem, physical problem inside of the iPhone. You will have to take your iPhone to the Apple Store or any place that fix iPhone. But something that I have to mention that I forgot. After you do that, if your phone still don't uh, detect the SIM card, what you're going to do, you're going to click on settings. Then you're going to click on general. Then you're going to click on software update. If your iPhone is having that problem without you updating the iOS system, maybe that, that can be the, the issue right there. You will have to update your iPhone iOS software, and that can be the solution, guys. But if you don't have a uh, software update available right here, just forget about it. Take your phone to the any place that fix phone, iPhone, because it might be an internal problem. Now, if you want to make sure it's not a SIM card, the problem here, just get a new SIM card, or if you have a phone, just remove the SIM card from that phone, put it on your phone, to see if your phone is gonna start detecting the SIM. So what I recommend you, if you're gonna do that, uh, remove the SIM from another phone, put it on your phone, okay? And restart your phone with the SIM card in the phone. Like turn off your phone, turn it back on, and that's the way your phone is gonna be detecting the new SIM card the right way because sometimes when you put a SIM card, a new SIM card on your phone and you don't restart your phone, sometimes the iPhone won't detect the SIM card. So you will have to put the new SIM on your phone. When the SIM card is already in your phone, restart your phone. Just turn it off and turn it back on. Also make sure your phone is not on blacklist. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna be making the video showing people how to check if their phone is on blacklist. Blacklist means that like if someone reports your phone lost or stolen, you know what I mean? If you buy phone like on Facebook Marketplace or from someone out there, sometimes they get phone on their contract, they sell it, then they call the company. They just say, I lost my phone, so can you lock the phone and send me a new one? You know what I mean? And that happened a lot, guys. You have to be careful buying used phone from people that you don't know because that happened a lot. So guys, that's all for today. If your phone is still guys in problem, unfortunately, it should be something damaged inside of the phone, physical issue. Um, if you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I will be checking all those comments and I will see you in my next video.